So we know that Lifer provides lots of fragments for us out of the box. And you can see them when you go to the page editor, of course, using the toolbar or in 7.3, you can go to design and then to fragments. And you can see all the different fragments that Liferay provides for you. Now, if I want to create my own custom fragments, I can do that as well. I can do it from here by creating a new collection and then from within that collection, creating a new fragment. Uh, but to do that, I kind of have to have some understanding or skills when it comes to web development because I'll be required to write the HTML markup and then possibly providing any custom CSS that's required for the styling. And if it's a super dynamic fragment, then I might also be required to write the JavaScript. Now, for those who don't want to work inside the browser, there is, of course, the fragment toolkit, which allows you to work outside of Liferay and outside of the browser to build the fragments and then synchronize them via the, the command line interface. But in both those cases, whether you're in the browser or using the toolkit, it does actually require you to have some knowledge of development. So whether you're you know, a new age designer that has some basic web development skills or you're a, a polished web developer, in both those cases, you have the technical skills that are required to use these methodologies to create fragments. But for the average business user who does not have any development skills, of course, this is not terribly useful and they may still need to be able to create components. So starting in 7.3, we've created this new concept called compositions and compositions allow you to create the layout for a fragment and then save the grouping of fragments that you've put together. So if I go back to my home page and I go back to the page we created in the last section, recall that we had created this banner and we used that using the, the featured content. And below that, we added the highlight center that gave us these three cards. These are both complex components that Lifer provided for us. And then at the very end, when we had to create this kind of left and right layout with an image and some kind of marketing description, we didn't have an exact complex component that matched that. So we used the basic components and assembled them to create the look and feel that we wanted and then use the inline styling to clean up how they're going to be rendered. Now let's say we showed this to the business and the business came back and said, you know what, I like this. However, I would really like to see some section headings so that we can illustrate moving from one piece of content to another and also provide context as to what the next piece of content is going to be. So let's start by editing the page and we know that there is no uh, fragment that's going to meet our needs and we know we're going to have to build our fragment as we did last time. So let's start by going to where we want to add the section. I'm going to drop in a container. Once again, I'm going to set the container to be fixed width. And then the hierarchy of the elements here is uh, a top level heading. And then we're going to have a lower level heading. Make sure you're careful to put it inside the container because it can easily go outside the container. And then we also want to have a separator, which is going to be used to clearly identify the end of a section. Okay, now that separator looks like it didn't quite go in. So what I can do is I can use the, the navigator here that shows me the hierarchy of elements on the page. And I can drag the separator into the container to make sure that it sticks. Now, because the separator is not running outside of the boundary of my box, I can tell that it's in the right place. So I'm just going to go through an action here. I'm going to leave this as an H1. I'm going to change the styling on this so that the text is centered. And I don't really want it butt up against the banner. So I'm going to add some margin on the top, let's say a four. And I don't want it butt up against this heading uh, that's going to be below it. So I'm going to add, let's say a margin three below. And I don't want this to have the same heading level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change this to be an H3. But once again, for styling purposes, I want this text to be centered as well. So I'll put that in. And I don't want the horizontal rule to be butt up against my heading three. So if I scroll back to the top, I can add a margin bottom of let's say three. Okay. So if I click away from this now, you can see what the heading is going to look like. Now I want to have the same heading in all my different section breaks. So what I can do is I can go back here. I can choose the container. And then from the menu option that's available on the container, I can choose Save Composition. Now, once again, this is only a 7.3 feature. You're not going to find this in 7.2 or earlier. If I click Save Composition, I can call this Section Heading. And I'll hit Save. And now I can scroll to another area where I want to add the section heading. So here between my highlights and my custom fragment that I've created. If I go back to my fragments and I scroll to the bottom, I now have the saved fragments option. If I open that up, you can see there's my section heading composition that I just created. So I can drag that in 
and you can see there's the heading the way I want it. Now if I scroll back up here, there's a lot of padding between the top and the bottom of these cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how we can achieve the same goal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble the highlights myself. And that's basically just a container with a grid with three of them. And then I want three cards. One, two, three. Now it's slightly different, of course, because in this particular case, I'm going edge to edge. So if I go back to my navigator and I choose this container and I set the width to be fixed width, it'll shrink it down. So now I've got my, my three cards in the kind of in the center ready to be edited. I've got my section heading at the top, my section heading below with equal spacing around them, and then my custom fragment and of course my banner. That's it. So now just like that, I've created my own custom fragment with no code for section headings, and I can use them anywhere on the site on any content page that I need to. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.